All the kids want to know about this. Disney's new Fantasyland opens in December. But apparently there's a way to get down there and see it early. A preview, so to speak. Plus, we have some travel deals on airlines I've never heard of, but it may be worth the drive to go to those airlines. All right, let's get Jennifer Donchez right now to explain this. Hi, we love Hi. Disney. We love to go. Right. How can we get in there to Fantasyland before everybody else? Well, if you've been there over the past year, you've seen this massive amount of construction going on in Fantasyland. It's almost like they're building a whole new area with a new castle. And it's supposed to open December 6th. But yeah. if you have plans to go in November, there is a soft opening and previews. So little parts of that area are opening up. And the Bee, mm. our guest restaurant, which is at the castle, the Beauty and the Beast sure. theme, mm -hmm. it actually is starting to take reservations for November. So if you have have that Disney dining plan because free dining is going on right now mm -hmm. through the fall. You can take advantage of going to see the new Fantasyland, which is, I mean, massive amounts of construction over the past year. Uh, so I guess, yeah, it would make sense that some of it is almost done. Right. And it's while they work on the rest of it, you can go to the part that's done. Right. And I believe it's going to be done in November. So they want people oh. to take advantage of seeing it. I mean, in how's the, it you, different than the fantasy land now? Everything. New rides, much bigger. And it used to be you could spend an entire day just in fantasy land. Yeah. Well, now you actually can because they are really expanding it. And it's been a long time since. Yeah, it's getting old and tired. They needed to yeah. refresh it in and new bring fantasies. it all up. New, well, same well, old fantasies, mean, yeah. new really. See, there's an artist rendering of it. So it's new characters, etc. Yeah. Now, how about um, ways to get there? You have some airlines that, frankly, we, we were looking at those. Like, you heard of that one? Heard of that one? What are these airlines, and where do they go? Well, first of all, there are some charter flights that people have to be aware of that fly to Orlando or the little city that's north of Orlando called Sanford, which is well, now famous very, for very, thing. Yeah, yeah, very, very close. But Allegiant Air flies out of Allentown nonstop certain days of the week, and I just played around with October, sixty-six dollars each way. Excuse wow. me. Wow. Seriously. Now, they are a fee-crazy airline, and when I say that, I mean that you're going to pay for a seat reservation, you're going to pay for your bags, and you will pay if you make a phone call to make a reservation. And like Spirit Airlines that flies out of Atlantic City, they also charge for a carry-on. Is that it? Vision is that well, what you said? Well, now, I said Allegiant. Now, Vision... Oh, Allegiant. Right. Okay. Vision Airlines, one of this, these airlines, again, a charter airline, and when... Uh, colleges get into the Final Four, they'll come into a city and they will just fly to the Final Four games. And you can't find them online. Um, Frontier Airlines, which is actually a published airline, flies certain days of the week from Philadelphia to Cancun and Punta Cana. Can't find it when you go onto Frontier because it's chartered by Apple Vacations. Well, then how do I find it? You find a good travel agent and you ask for deals. Because even out of Harrisburg, too, there are some charter flights to go to Orlando that are much cheaper than what you might find on well, US Air or Southwest. It would be worth driving to Harrisburg or Allentown or right. Atlantic City if it was $66 each way. I know. I know. So, and they only fly certain days of the week. And just be careful because Sanford is not Orlando. So that Magic Express that's free that takes you to the park or to your hotel nope. from Orlando won't do it from that's Sanford. And they list with the Magic Express. There's certain airlines that aren't involved with that one. So Correct. those are the other right. ones. But there is a bag program that maybe we could use with some of the airlines now that well, it works like the Magical Express with Disney? Yeah, American Airlines has now started this where you will pay like you normally do for a bag, but instead of going and picking it up at the baggage claim, it sends it right to your hotel. And it's for domestic flights, and they're kind of getting on board with the other businesses that had this, you know, we'll ship your bag thing. Mm -hmm. So I guess they want it to be competitive. That's great. It's just another opportunity for them to lose it. <laughs> Bye, Frank. Do you get your money back if it doesn't show up? I, guess, I, I, I don't know. know. I actually would use that service, I think. Yeah. So you, you just blow right out Absolutely. to the cab and get to the hotel. That's what's so great about the Magic Express and Disney, too, because you yeah. just put your tags on and you go right to the parks. and Yeah. So this yeah. is for everywhere in the whole planet, all the other cities as with well. With American right yeah. now. Karen, can yeah. I tell you something? Please. I started here with she and her husband. Speaking of fantasy land, I mentioned that I was very much into the, which country is it? It's the Dutch field hockey team. The Dutch field hockey team. No, they were really playing very well, and mm -hmm. it, got, it became an a Internet sensation. So Because of their play? Yeah. Well, the uniforms, basically. So now your husband has got this into his head. He wants you to dress like this for Halloween? Yeah, he thought it would be a good idea. I believe it was Entertainment Weekly that rated the top 10 sexiest athletes. And the Dutch field hockey team was 7, 8, and 9. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that well, uh, that's, that's his idea. He said so it would be great. Here's the thing. He's obsessed with it. He won't stop talking about it, and it's my fault. Good to yes, see you. Thank you so Thanks, much Jen. for bringing sure. that up. No